Ryan now running in the third position. Moses Smith. It would be a huge night for him if he could pull off a win. Smith's best finish fourth at Roseburg this year. That's a second place finish at Texas last year. Kyle Texas is his career best in the series. And another car looks like it has cut down a tire fill. Yeah, Billy Kahn, I don't think he made any contact with the outside wall, but he is pulling towards pit road. But staying under green here, he will lose a minimum of three or four laps. Kahn, a veteran racer out of Phoenix, making a comeback of sorts after a long time away from this series. But not a good night now for Billy Kahn. And Augie Vidovich, look at the lead he's got over Blake Cook. I saw how difficult it was. Blake Cook went down across the apron there, lost control of that car, lost two or three car lengths to Augie. And Moses Smith now trying that move, going down onto the apron and is shooting back up the racetrack. Smith running third. Newberry, the rookie, is fourth. Paul Haraka right now running fifth. Newberry, Newberry was able to get by Pauly. Now Chris Johnson is going to take a run at Pauly. Not been easy for anybody to pass here tonight. We've seen him try. Two and three and four wide. <laughs> Indeed we have. If you hold that ground up high, most of the time you can hold on to your position. And that's what Haraka is doing right now. Johnson putting a lot of pressure on him. Did you see the gap in front of Paul Haraka's car? That means he's slowing, slowing down those cars. So right now, Chris Johnson using a lot of patience. But I think he's going to go after him here. There's three wide racing. Mayhew, Timmy Hill, who is from Maryland in that 99 car. They want to run the showdown, so they thought, what the heck, we'll come out here to Irwindale in the, the Independence Day weekend race, and we'll run that one as well. Just got by the six of Luis Martinez. Now he's going after the 17 of Mayhew. That's a Rick Ware operation that Timmy's running right now. Actually ran an ARCA race back in Salem, Indiana earlier this year in a Rick Ware car. Here's Luis Martinez. Battle for 11th with Dusty Davis in the 94. Yellow flag has come out. Yellow is out. And we understand that yellow flag now is for debris. There is some debris on the racetrack, and it has brought out the yellow. I wonder if that may have been from Mayhew's car, because we saw him slow noticeably on the racetrack. Vidovich is the leader. Caution is out as we approach the closing laps of the King Taco 200 at the Toyota Speedway in Irwindale. Just over 50 laps remain in the King Taco 200. Mike Hawkwood, Phil Parsons, along with Bernadette Santacola. And so far, this has been Augie Vidovich's night here, Phil. We'll see on this restart as he starts again alongside Blake Cook. Yeah, Blake gets another opportunity here, but he's tough to do it from the bottom. He has a pretty good lead as it used to Carlings by the time he gets to turn one. Another good restart by Augie Vidovich, and Cook is going to slide up into second place. Smith getting a challenge for third from Newberry. Newberry is going after Smith on the bottom. This car's been really good down there. How about Brett Newberry out of Bakersfield? What a race he's run tonight. You just never know where talent's going to come from. Tough night tonight for David Mayhew. He's out of his race car behind the wall. Bernadette is with him. What was the problem? It seemed like you were having problems early on. Yeah, the car was just really tight. We uh, made some adjustments right there at the break, and we think it was going to be better. Just too hard to tell. It's so early. Then the 16 came across the nose and pulled left front fender in, and it was just downhill from there. The motor, I think, ended up going. An unfortunate way for you to end. Yeah, tough break for David Mayhew. Came into this race only 24 points behind Eric Holmes and lose a lot of ground. And you just saw Eric Holmes. What an opportunity now for Eric Holmes to put a little ground between himself and Mayhew in that points race. Right now, Newberry trying to get by the 21 of Blake Cook, and he looks like he's able to do it. The rookie is in second place. Boy, what a monumental upset this would be if Brennan Newberry could win this race here tonight at Irwindale. Well, how about Augie Vinovich? 14th place finishes is his best finish ever in this series with only six starts, but it wouldn't be as big an upset because Augie Vinovich, we're used to seeing him run well. Yeah, former Southwest Tour champion, obviously, and 
he has tried to move on some other series as we said Jack Roush has a lot of respect for him as a driver but Brennan Newberry has literally come out of nowhere to run second here in this race in the late stages.